it's Miss Silverman. I'm going to show you how to get to your Google Slides using your Gmail account. So that way you'll be able to do your STEM fair project. First, you're going to log on to pgcps.org and you're going to go to your Gmail. I want to hear it. When you log into your email, this is the screen that will come up. You will need to go to your tic-tac-toe board up in the right-hand corner. You'll click on your tic-tac-toe board, and you'll see Google Slides. To create a new Google Slides, you will need to click on the yellow Google Slides option. And it will take you to this screen where you will see different options. You're going to click blank to start a new presentation. And your new presentation will come up. You can title your presentation at the top. Then to add a title, you will click on the box to add it onto your presentation. And then you can write your name on the first slide. To add a slide, you're going to click on the left-hand side where the plus sign is. There's a drop-down arrow where you can pick the type of slide you would like. I'm going to pick one that has text at the top for a title and body text. You would add a title at the top, and then you can click to add text at the bottom. If you decide this isn't quite the slide that you're looking for, you can always change it by going to slide and then apply layout and you can click on a different one and it will change it for you. So once again slide, apply layout and it will change the type of slide you have. You can also add pictures to your slides or charts by going to insert an image or chart. There's also the option for video, different shapes and tables. And it will just appear on your screen. You can change the size of it. The good thing about Google is everything will automatically save as you're working on your project. You can also share your project with your teacher by going to share and then typing in your teacher's email address so that way they can view your project. You can also share it with your parents so that way you can work together on the project. You can add comments to your slides. So maybe you have a question for your teacher and you want them to be able to see it. You can comment on it and then they can comment back. Or maybe you have a comment for your parents, you can type on there. Or parents, you can type comments to your student. Maybe this should be spelled differently. And then they can respond to it. To view your slides again, once you've exited out of it, you're going to need to go to your Google Drive. To get back to your Google Drive, you're going to go to your email. And remember to get to your drive, you're going to click on the tic-tac-toe board at the top. And then there's your Google Drive. Your STEM Fair project will be the first one that appears on the top left-hand corner, as that was the last one that you've worked on. If not, it will be further down, and you can find it um, throughout your different documents that you've saved. My STEM Fair project is in the top of my drive. I can click on it and it'll bring it back up to work on it again. If you have any questions, make sure you see your teacher um, or you can visit Ms. Silverman or you can visit Mr. Miller in the computer lab.